Welcome everybody, welcome to this week's tutorial. This week I've got two photos for you that I'm gonna give two distinctive looks. I've got this photo here that we're gonna try and recreate that Brandon Woeful look and this photo here which I'm going to give a faded sort of Instagram look that everyone's trying to achieve. So let's get started. So we're going to do this with the curves adjustment. It's very easy and very quick. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is duplicate the background and that is Command J. Next, we're gonna come down here to our adjustments and we're gonna find the curves adjustment. So once we've got our curves adjustment panel up here, we're gonna come right down to this corner and we're gonna push this slider up, fading the picture. So we're pushing it up into the gray. So that's sort of quite a good faded look there. Let's have a look. We've already got that faded look and we're just gonna hit this point here and bring this one down a little bit, just giving us like a U curve. Now we're gonna do the same to the blue channel. So we're gonna to come to here and we come down to the blue channel and we're gonna push the blues up into the shadows as well. And then about the same place, pinch it down again to create that U curve. And so you can see how simple it is to achieve that look. We started with a few simple adjustments in the curve adjustments panel. We came to here giving it that faded Instagram look. So very easy, very quick. Okay, on to the next one. Over here onto this photo. Again, Command J on the keyboard to make a duplicate copy. Come down here to the curves adjustment panel again. Let's get this one up. Once we've got our curve panel up again, we're gonna do the same thing here again. We're gonna give it that faded look. So take that up until you're happy about here. Then we're gonna come down here to our reds and we're gonna really push those reds up to about here. And we're going to do the same with the blue, but we're gonna go the other way and we're gonna cross over the reds, giving us like an X curve. You can see the X and the red cross over here, giving us like an X curve. So let's have a look. We've gone from here to here. If that is a little bit strong, you can always come down and move the opacity down a little bit, just taking some of the edge off that. And we'll have another look now. We've gone from this photo to this photo with just a few small adjustments in the curves adjustment panel. So I hope you like both of those looks. We've got the Brandon Woolful look here, and we've got the faded Instagram look here. Okay, if you like both of the looks that I've just created, I've actually made a LUT for each look. Once you've downloaded the LUT, you can just apply it through the adjustments, and you can come down to LUT, and you can go load LUT, and once you've downloaded it, you can have this Instagram look LUT that I'll provide for free for you to download in the description and you just go open and it'll put those colors straight into your photo and if it is a little bit too strong you can use your opacity just to bring that look down a little bit so for everyone down in the description you can download my instagram faded lut and also the brandon woeful look which i call teal and orange which you can use as well so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial this week everybody if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing and until next week i'll say to you be brave go out and do something amazing and i'll see you in the next video